Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome back to Edenia today, playing some more Factorio. Now, as you might notice, this is not the map that I last left. Um, this is a map that we've been playing on, on a LAN party. Um, I was at a LAN party with a couple of friends. We decided to play Factorio and 26 hours later, uh, this entire factory with 2,000 active robots <laughs> has been, uh, yeah, has been built from scratch. It's uh, it's quite amazing. It's not very efficient, but it's quite an amazing track. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share with you what you can do with a couple of friends if you're having fun. It's uh, it's quite enormous. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a walk. <laughs> I'm gonna take a walk through the factory so you can see what's going on. Um, yeah, it's it's huge. It's uh, terrifically huge. There's a lot of um, a lot of things on the map. Let's uh, let's take a quick look at the map. Um, there you go. Uh, this is what we've built so far. Uh, there are a couple of areas like these where these are the solar panels. You might recognize these uh, layouts. I've done them before. Solar panels. There we go. Um, all comments are in Dutch, by the way, because as you know, I am Dutch, and uh, there's a couple of. Uh, with a couple of friends, we decided just to name everything in Dutch, so that's fine. Uh, with a couple of exceptions, there's a bitch town over here, and uh, let's see, there's an oil refinery and oil town. Um, can we zoom into oil town? Yeah, this is a new feature. You can zoom in on the map if you have been there recently. You can see what's going on, or if there's a radar, apparently. Uh, so there's a radar over here, a couple of oil tanks. Uh, and as soon as these are full, um, a train will come. A train will come from here. As soon as this is empty, this train will go pick up some more oil and be on its merry way. It's a very nice system, uh, if I do say so myself. Uh, actually, we are running high on petroleum gas, which is a first. I've never had that in any series. Running high on petroleum gas. That's, uh, that's news to me. So, um, yeah, lots of aliens, um, lots of droids as well. Everything's being handled by droids, and we were researching the rocket silo. Now, we're not that far yet on our current, uh, current game, but if you look at this, this is the science area. Look at this. This is amazing, isn't it? Just a lot of science being pumped into these chests and crates and what have you. Um, and here's where the science is assembled, just with robots. Robots are producing iron, which is used to make all sorts of things, like these. Um, these go in here, apparently. We've got 50 already, so they're not producing any more. Those will be producing some more science. Production science will go into either one of these chests and be on its merry way. Well, yeah, that's just in short what we did on this map. It's a, it's a droid-heavy gameplay. Uh, we were using main belts for a long time, and as soon as we hit droids, everything else was, uh, everything else was used to, done with drones. So yeah, there you go, a little tour of this game. Let's get back to our game. So a couple of problems we had was I misplaced my tank, which is a bit of a big deal, but I found it. It's over here, apparently. So let's just place it somewhere in the world where we can easily find it, like, for instance, over here. And let's fill it up with fuel. What fuel do we have? Uh, nothing much at the moment. Um, also, I've been making a couple of laser turrets because we uh, we need to put these laser turrets in certain locations. Um, because, of, uh, because of security reasons, of course. Let's see. Um... I can't seem to find any coal. I don't know if we have coal on on the mains. We probably do somewhere, but that's why I want to have everything on the main line. It makes it so much easier to just have a collecting point at the end of the main line. Uh, or even somewhere in between if there's a, a backup of, of uh, items. But there we are. We have a lot of coal. We just need to pick it up manually, which is... Not bad, but it's just a bit of a drag, you know. It's just, there we go, you've got some coal now. But, yeah. Um, by the way, if we make all of these chests, if we make them storage chests instead of steel chests, that will uh, help as well, because now we can have... 
Uh, now we can have the items requested. Just like these ones, uh, they're wooden chests right now. If we make them st storage chests, now we can request them as well. This is a passive provider, that's good. And this is a requested chest, that's good as well. So we will always make more, um, uh, more uh, of these belts, which is good because we need a lot of those belts. This is already a passive provider. Um, there we go. So that's nice. Um, also, these two, these two, um, these are just wooden chests right now, which will not do. We need these to be passive provider chests. There we go. And we also need these to be capped because we don't need this much ammo. It's just a very big waste of space and time. Um, this is uh, connected to steel, but it will not take steel because it needs iron. So let's fix this. We don't need steel here. Thanks, anyway. Thanks for coming, but don't bother again. Um, iron. There's already some iron over here. Let's split that off. Oh, we got attacks again. Over here. Yeah, something's, something's destroyed. We need to go there and tool it up with the... Um, uh, tool it up with some tanks and some, uh, not some tanks, some turrets. There we go. We need to use a lot of these. Anyway, um, yeah, let's split this off. We just need iron over there. So that's fine. There we go. Now that will make ammo again. Uh, as for now, we'll just uh, use this ammo to fend off the aliens. I think they're dead already. Yeah, because there are some turrets down there, but there's also a very big city down there, which uh, which is a bit disconcerting. All right, let's put this in, put some ammo in. There we go. Enter it, and let's be on our merry way. And there we go. Pump check replaced. Now let's grab our laser turrets. We've got quite a couple. Let's add some defenses. So there's a couple, because you always seem to come from this uh, this side. There we go, a couple, uh, couple of laser turrets, just for defense, of course. And now, let's go on the offensive and try to see the bastards that did this. Um, there's probably some village rediscovered on the map. If we go this way, I know it's a bit dark for you to see, but just to be sure about it, it's a bit dark for me as well. Um, there we are. Look at that. Bastards on the map. Let's, uh, make sure that they'll pay. There we are. And boom. Ugh, nasty critters. Nasty critters. Look at that. All dead. Alright, let's do a quick repair. And let's move on to the other city because it's quite big. There we go, quick repair. There's a new city uh, uh, on the map as well, as you can see over there. It's rather big, we need to get rid of it ASAP. Uh, it's right on top of some oil, which could be very beneficial to the operation as well. Oh, uh, it's quite crowded. We'll uh, see what we can do. Yeah, look at that. Just get rid of the first couple, that's fine. Just keep shooting. Just drive over anything that moves. That's the th that's the thing. You gotta kite them away, and then just drive over these lumps. There you go. Drive through these high towers as well because they're very annoying. There you go. I'm so lucky that I researched tanks before the uh, military science was needed. Because military science is... Well, it's not really a pain in the ass, but... You know, you got to do it anyway. Boom. There you go. That one's dead. Alright. Now, let's repair this tank again. I'm very lucky that my character has such high knowledge of repairing tanks. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a survival story, right? You just had to learn how to... How to repair tanks, otherwise 
you would just not survive. Now, this is a colony that I'm not sure we can do with a tank. But let's go to that one up north anyway and kill it before it becomes a problem. So let's kill these by hand. Let's kill these by driving over them. These, uh, these turret monsters, they're the worst. These ranged ones, by the way, are also not very nice, but they're manageable. Uh, I don't think that I can drive through this entire city with this tank. We might as well try, but I don't think we can do it. Let's uh, try and shoot behind us, if we can. There we go. Drive over that one. Drive over that one. Drive over that one. Our health is dwindling very fast. We might have to do this in, uh, in multiple runs. <laughs> this is not good. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. Because that's quite a big city and it's a, it's a danger to our, to our operation. We don't want that. We don't want it to be a danger to us. Alright, there we go again. Let's grab the combat shotgun just in case we get attacked. And back at it. There we go. Another round. Another round of shooting aliens. Because, well, let's face it, the aliens are the bad guys, right? I mean, we did nothing wrong. It's always the aliens. There we go. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right, let's move. <laughs> let's move out. Oh, my lord. This is the worst. Look at that. We're running out of ammo quickly as well. These blue ones, they're really tough. Alright. Halfway down on on health. So let's repair it again. Well, there's a lot of big cities, uh, cities of aliens around here. We might not be able to clear this all. This is bad. This is very bad. This is even worse. Alright, there's some down south as well. We need to kill that one as well. Um, main thing we, that we need really is a lot of defenses. So, um, let's start producing some military science because we're going to need a lot of it. So one of the things that we need for military science is these piercing rounds. And these piercing rounds require firearm magazines, so um, this would be an easy fix. But now we also need steel and copper plates. Um, we don't really need to take everything off the main line, but um, because we can use robots, but this would be just too easy to not use uh, the main line for. So let's do it like this. We also need this to be a tunnel. There we go. You could be a tunnel. Uh, this should be on one side only, so this will be a tunnel as well. Going to here, extending on one side. There you go. And now, um, yeah, we should just lead this into the side. There we go. And uh, we need copper on the other side, so let's see about that. Um, this tunnel starts here. We can't really do anything to merge over there, so we need to merge either earlier or later. I think later would be a very good decision. So let's move this up just a bit. There we go, like this, like so. This will be another tunnel. And this will need to go into a tunnel as well. We only need one side. Does it reach to here? Yes, it does. That's very nice. So that's one side of copper. Now we need this to fall this way. And we might want to do something like this. Then have it on another tunnel, leading all the way to here. Leading up to here. There we go. So that's steel and copper taken care of. This will now produce piercing rounds ammunition. Now this we would love to have on a main belt. 
So what we want to do, yeah, we want to extend down here. We want to make sure that there's another row of stone. Because we're going to need so many of them, it would be great to have it on a main line. So I'm going to do this. Pull it down. All the way to here. And we're going to put them in a chest as well. Just as we do with everything else in the end of the main line, I'm going to put this in a passive provided chest. Now we don't need loads of this ammo, we just need a couple. I don't think we ever need more than this, really, so... And otherwise, there will be a belt full of them to fill the chest quickly, so that's good. It's good to have. There we go, let's pull this up. There we go, something like this. And, well, that, that would be quite enough. So let's put it on the belt. It will put them on that side of the belt, so let's have it merge to here. There we go. It's now merged. That will probably not work. We'll see. No, because the merged ones will... <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. That doesn't work quite properly. Um, this way... Merge it like this. Yes, that's what we want. We want this to be in both sides. Alright, so that's, uh, that's all fixed. Now we can grab one ammo... And it will serve us for a, for a long time. We also want to have on our person always Piercing Rounds Magazine 200. So robots will come and take the uh, ammo and bring it to us. Look at that. There's all, they're already coming. Oh, it's taking them to somewhere else. Of course, it's taking it to our uh, science setup. We already have a, a setup for science. We do. Um, where is it? Am I missing it? Is it somewhere around here? No. It's, it's later on, isn't it? Yeah. It's just past the, uh, the copper. Yeah, it's here. Here's a science factory. Right with the radar next to it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so this is already full of, uh, of ammo, so we can easily take a couple. That's fine. And we can also outfit one of the tank, uh, one of the tanks with it. That's going to be fine. Um, oh yeah, I have these um, these old uh, blueprints. I made some new ones. Uh, oh, what do I do with th these? These are empty ones. Um, all right, empty blueprints. You can just do something like this and then delete them, I guess. Um, delete, yeah. We don't need empty blueprints, that's for sure. Um so, make something of it, save it, put it back, delete it. There we go. Um, yeah, because I made some new blueprints. Uh, I made the same like this, but without the uh, the stone. We'll just have to lay stone manually, because uh, in, our, uh, in our land party save game, we had these, but with concrete. And I thought, you know what, if I placed these uh, with the stones in them, like we did earlier, we had this... Uh, we had this recipe but with stones around them. And if you do it like this, it will replace the concrete. So I just did one without stone at all. So that's fine now. And of course, uh, the solar array, which we have. I've outfitted this with a couple of laser turrets on the sides and a couple of storage chests with them as well. So this will now be a bit more, uh, a bit more alien proof, just to speak, so to speak. So let's put this down over here. And they will probably ask me for storage chests, roboports, and laser turrets. We need those in the system. So we might need to uh, make a couple ourselves for now and put them in the storage chest. But later on, we'll have to uh, make sure that they are automated. Also, something I was very curious about is modular armor. So uh, during the LAN party, we made a couple. And they're actually pretty easy to manage. Uh, you just need to know what you're doing, per se. Um, there is an energy shield for it, which is very nice. Uh, there are some personal RoboPort uh, allows construction bots to work from your inventory, 
which is really nice. So if you are carrying a couple of laser turrets and they're not in the system, then the robots will come to you and take the laser turrets and put them down somewhere, which is really nice to have. Um, so yeah, uh, modular armor. I'm going to show you how it works in just a second after it's crafted. And there we are, modular armor has been crafted. Now if you right click on this, you can open up your armor. Uh, there's a couple of things that you can build on your uh, on your armor. There are, for instance, the portable solar panels. You're going to need a couple of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to request some solar panels um, because we have them probably somewhere in the system. I might just want to pick them up because it, it will just be easier just to pick a couple up. So let's do it. Let's go to our solar panel factory. It's probably somewhere around here. Well, I say probably. I know it's somewhere around here because it's in the old system. Solar panels, where are you? Oh, there are. Well, it can't be that. Yeah, there they are. I'm just a bit blind. Uh, let's pick up 50 of them. We don't need this much uh, solar energy, or so, or so much solar powers, but uh, panels. But we're going to be using a lot of energy later on. So if I build anything, I'm probably going to build down some of these solar panels as well. And now with the turrets on the end, it will just make me feel secure. So um, what do we want? So we want uh, solar panels. We probably need about five, five solar panels. We also need probably some batteries, but let's see how big the energy sh energy shield is and the personal robot. We don't really need night vision because uh, it says allow you to see more clearly in the darkness. I never really, um, never really thought of that uh, while I was using it, but I think we we could just make one of each, you know, and just have three more batteries. I think that's the most we can do. Um, as soon as these grenades are ready, I'm going to put them in and see if it will all fit. So, a couple of the bonuses are the added resistance, but also you get an inventory size bonus, which I only just noticed. My inventory is uh, 10 squares bigger, so that's good. Uh, portable solar panels, we'll just put these at the top. There we go. And now we should start making energy shields now if you equip this i believe that your resistances go up there you go um, shield capacity 50 yeah that's nice so our shield is charging so we've got a shield now we also look a bit cooler look at that look at our little man All right so uh what's the next thing that we're building we're building some Personal robo ports. That's fine. We can use a personal robo port. Um, apparently, that takes um, red advanced circuits. Don't we have any? No, because there's only one of those. So probably we don't have any. Nope. That's a bit of a shame because we need quite a lot of these. So we. What is? What's the main thing that we're missing? Plastic, I guess. Is it plastic? Oh, we, yeah, we're missing plastic. We should really up our plastic production, I guess, then. Um, let's go up. Let's go up and see why we are not producing any quick plastic. Um, in the meantime, let's equip this personal robot port, which is really nice to have. And let's put it, let's put it over here. So now we're making three batteries, um, but we can make even we can even make four if we want to. Uh, so yeah, this is lacking. It's not lacking coal. It's lacking sulfuric acid, and we're not really. Uh, no, sorry, petroleum gas. It's lacking petroleum gas, and a lot of our petroleum gas is going to making um, sulfuric acid, but not a lot is going into our making plastic. So if we sever the ties with this, albeit temporarily, we should see a dramatic increase in plastic production. At least that would be my guess. We're also just missing crude oil by the looks of it. It's just so slow. Alright, we've got the four batteries, we can put those in now. Uh, along with the night vision. We'll put the night vision up here. Look at that. 
Easy. Easy modular armor. We are now prepared for anything. But yeah, that really did nothing because we're just lacking the crude oil. Oh, and this needed to be connected for some reason. Okay. So this... Oh, that's, that's producing plastic now. And it's gone. Still producing some plastic, which is nice. Uh, this looks like it's lacking oil, so we need to see if we can have some more oil being pumped in. Uh, this is connected to the mainframe over here. So yeah. Why is there no more oil coming through the pipes? I thought that this was... This was producing plenty, but apparently it's not. Alright, let's take a look. Let's see if we can just add some more pump jacks to the uh, to the system. We, uh, yeah, we have some... We have some items, because this is nearly empty. Every single one. And that's not okay. We need, we need more oil. <laughs> and we're probably going to leave this base and produce more oil elsewhere. But in the meantime, we're going to need all, all the oil that we can get. So there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. So we can have uh, a couple more pump checks if you want to. So there we go. Let's put this in. This one. This one needs to be moved then. Because we do probably need all the laser turrets we can get. Because this is going to get a crowded area. It's going to be very crowded. That one's without energy, yeah. Alright, so this one needs to be moved to probably around here. So have the pump jack put in. Yep, there we go. You can go in there. These two are without energy. It's easily fixed. Two more. We just need more raw oil. and Lots of it. These all have efficiency modules. We don't have any on hand, but we might want to return here soon with some efficiency modules. Uh, anyway, that's going to probably uh, increase our plastic production a lot. We're, I'm just going to pipe this up. It's nothing you've never seen before. Just some pipes. And uh, yeah, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be back next time. Oh, look at that. Night vision is working. It's not as bad as I thought. It's rather nice, actually. But our battery is running low because we haven't been charging at all. Um, so yeah, I need to build some more pipes. So we need to uh, get some more materials in. That's fine. I'm going to work on that. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. And see you all again next time. Have a great day.